The Gambia Armed Forces continues to further strengthen military diplomacy with the United Kingdom. The Honorable Minister of the British Armed Forces, James Hapey, accompanied by the British High Commissioner, the Defence Attaché, and other personnel, paid a courtesy call on the Deputy Chief of Defence Staff at the Defence Headquarters in Banjo. During the indoor meeting, the Honorable Minister disclosed the purpose of his visit. He pointed out areas of mutual benefit to both countries in the areas of maritime security, training, peacekeeping, among other areas. The reason I'm here, General, is uh, we have a great friendship that uh, runs over centuries. But as you rightly note, um, the, the modern uh, carnation of the, of the uh, Gambian armed forces is something that stems from uh, the third is that I know that uh, the Gambian uh, armed forces have a, uh, a, a tradition in peacekeeping operations and an enthusiasm for peacekeeping operations. And the UK is similarly keen, I think, to re-establish our credentials. You know, as a member of the, um, as a permanent member of the Security Council, we feel it's our responsibility to play a part, a, a leading part, in UN peacekeeping. And um, the reality is, is that there are lots of other countries that do more of it than us. And we're keen, therefore, to learn from our friends and allies uh, about what good looks like in that, in that um, line of activity. And also to then work with those friends and allies so that we can mutually generate capability for, um, for, for, for UN missions. So um, those are the three main areas of operational focus. The Deputy Chief of Defence Staff expressed appreciation for the support the British Armed Forces has been rendering to the Gambia Armed Forces over the years. We want to express our gratitude and appreciation for all the support that your government <coughs> have over the years been provided to the Gambia Armed Forces. In fact, we happily always make sure that the history of the Gambia Armed Forces started in 1984 when we had a small British training team that really set up what we have today. And it is with such nostalgia that all the time we mention it and also to request on behalf of the Chief of Defence Staff that as we go through this critical moment in our transition from two years of the challenge leadership to towards with professionalizing the armed forces under a democratic dispensation. We would like to see the partnership continue so that we can regain our fit and move on in the best traditions of a democratic armed forces. And so over the years also, we've seen the beginning of the new dispensation, we've been seeing the beginning of the reactivation of the collaboration and I'm sure with this, your visit is a testimony to the fact that you are committed to accompanying us in that journey. After hours of significant engagement, the Defence Minister of the British Armed Forces later proceeded to the Gambia Armed Forces Training School to grace the graduation ceremony of the final phase of the QRF training, which was successfully conducted by the British training team. The British Defence Minister and his Gambian counterpart had an interactive session with the graduating troops. how much you have enjoyed training alongside the British Army over the last few weeks. I hope you found the training useful. Whoa. That's 
that's a great answer. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much indeed. Um, the Gambia is a beautiful country and it's very blessed to have brilliant armed forces. Uh, I look forward to seeing what you do with this training. Good luck on the operational tours that follow. I'll be watching your progress and with my new friend, your Defence Minister, we'll make sure that we can help with more training in the future. We're all very excited about being able to do so. So thank you very much for your training. Thank you. We want to thank you for your patriotism. We want to thank you for standing to what the Gambian founding fathers know about, our core values, our dignity, and our respect. And this is why the Gambia is respected everywhere around the world, especially in the history of peacekeeping. We want to say thank you. We also bring you greetings from the person that is leading the Gambia, the President of the Republic and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. I want to thank you for your sacrifices on behalf of my counterpart, who is the minister responsible for the armed forces of the United Kingdom. And guess what? He was also at the Royal Military Academy at St. He was in number four platoon when he graduated in 2004. I was also number four platoon when I graduated in 1985. We want to say thank you to our friends here. The British Army training team has always been with the Gambia. Remember when the Gambia National Army started, the new army, we had a British Army training team. That was in 1984 at Yundum Camp. So now the baton is going to be handed over. You are the young sons and daughters of this country. Keep the dignity of the country, professionalism, esprit de corps, stick together, and inshallah we shall prevail. The contingent commander, Lieutenant Colonel Omar B. Bojang, raised views on behalf of his troops. One of the strongest points that we've observed was the, that was mission focus, mission orientation of the troops, and they were all alert, focused, disciplined, and aggressive in the execution of their roles and responsibilities as clearly exhibited in the videos that we've seen. We saw the tempo, we saw the movement, we saw the aggression, and that shows that our soldiers and officers are willing to learn and detect corrections anytime that they are given lessons. And I know the training team will be able to say something about that. The event was marked by several Haiti songs from troops, so in their Esprit Corps cultivated throughout the training with their British counterparts. <laughs> Of the British training team, Lieutenant Colonel Foot Tapping, also gave his remarks on the assessment of the QRF training. And more importantly, thank you to all of those out here who've really taken part in the training because actually, despite us all being here enabling it, it's you guys out there who've contributed the training and delivered on your commander's intent. What we've really seen is a, an absolute will to get involved get better and learn from this training and that has been a compelling um, compelling piece that we've seen over this period of two weeks. Reporting for GAF APRD, I am Lance Copro Sanyang Matar GAF Signals.